So before we start, I just want to say, look, I am a complete supporter of Adventures with Purpose, 100%. The point that I'm trying to make here is that we have to be fair. You know, if we're going to point fingers at friends and family, then if something doesn't look right or something sits slightly off, then you do have to call it out. You do have to say, look, I've seen this. Someone don't sit right with it. What do you think? Maybe someone can point out that, look, there's nothing in it. This is just something that's completely irrelevant and we've done what we really need to do to be fair across the board but like i say i am a i am an avid supporter of adventures with purpose and i do feel 100 percent that if it weren't for these guys in this case then we'd be in a much different place now and certainly not a better one but that being said we do have something to address now, over on Josh Cantu's channel, he had actually caught up with Adventures with Purpose behind the scenes. He'd done a video, and it was basically referencing some searches that they were doing with hot air balloons. They were actually over Prosser Reservoir in hot air balloons. And it would appear that they were over the reservoir in hot air balloons prior to to when they hit the water with the boats and kind of made this video around searching for her on the water. Now, the video was filmed on August 21st, so it was on the actual day that Kylie was indeed found. So the, the, before anyone say it was different days, anything like that, no, Josh, he marked it on his channel when this was filmed. So they were filming on that day. Now, this screenshot here is of the balloon. As Josh is in one balloon, you will see the other balloon, and it is near enough directly above where Kylie's vehicle was eventually recovered. Now, we've seen that the vehicle was seen via footage caught by SF Investigates drone. So my question is, is it possible that this hot air balloon had caught the vehicle? And is that, in fact, why Adventures with Purpose came back from Boca back to Prosser to search that reservoir? And was when Doug turned around and said he wanted to search it, because if they've not searched it, then it hasn't been searched, was it in fact that they had been given the heads up that there was something in the water? Now look, I don't wanna I don't wanna sound like this is accusational because at the end of the day we all do it. We all do it. You know, I do it, everyone does it, and if anybody on this platform says they don't, full of shit. But they will look to over dramatise certain elements of what they talk about to make it more appealing to people you know it's just it's don't hate the player hate the game that's what it is and you know even though the context of the video is still being true and you're still covering what needs to be covered in order to snap and get people's attention you have to do it in a certain way and i wonder whether adventures with purpose had to do that or or did do that you know and it's up for you guys to look at the evidence, what we've got on screen, and simply decide what you think. So I ask again, you know, this uh, this hot air balloon is above where Kylie's vehicle was found. SF investigates. When you look back over that drone footage, you can see the, the vehicle through the water. We've said that you could see the vehicle from above. And look, the hot air balloon was sitting there. Could that hot air balloon have seen that vehicle? Bearing in mind that it's highly likely that they were specifically looking for the vehicle. So it's not even like they were just floating and looking over the water. They would have been specifically looking for a vehicle. And it just happens to be that they're over it. And lo and behold, they come back from Boca where their initial lead was to come back to somewhere that law enforcement had told them didn't need to be searched, they'd signed it off, it was fine, 
but they pushed and got it searched again. Look, and, and what I will say is, look, good job that they did. Absolutely amazing that they did. But it raises a few questions as to what other elements could have been over-dramatised that people have latched onto now and made a bigger thing out of it than perhaps should have been. And maybe I made a mistake in not 100% listening to that. And again, you know, people are going to shoot me down in flames, I'm sure, because they could either misinterpret what I'm trying to say. But what I'm trying to say is, look, we have to be fair. In order to be true, in order to do what needs to be done, we have to call everybody out on everything that we see, regardless of whether they do good, whether they do bad. It has to be said, you know... The bare bones of this case is that a mother lost her child. And we can point the fingers at the mum and bring her forward and tell everybody what we feel were her mistakes, which there are an abundance of. Same with the friends. So, to be fair, we have to raise this because it just doesn't look right. It, it looks, looks... Like, Adventures of a Purpose potentially knew that Kylie's vehicle was there before they made their video of the search and recovery. Let me know what you think down below. Go over to Josh's channel, have a look at the video. You have to be quick. You have to be lightning quick. Because if you blink, you'll miss it. It's been cut out whether they tried to cut the whole thing. I don't know. But it's very, very quick. You have to be sharp. But you'll catch the balloon. And there you go. The rest is history. I'll see you all tonight in the live.